I want to pick somebody that's going to win, and this man is going to win. Come on. A lot of people around the country are waiting to see what Ohio does in the Republican Senate race. A lot of people want to know whether or not Donald Trump's endorsement means something. We've not seen a lot of good polling since the Donald Trump endorsement of J.D. Vance, but the trends suggest that Vance is coming up quickly to compete with Mandel and Gibbons. So in that three-way race, you'd have to give the energy nod to Vance, and Mandel appears to be on, on, the, on the dwindle. And Gibbons may also be phasing out. But having said that, it, all, it will be close. Even the candidates who did not receive Donald Trump's endorsement will still try to align themselves with his legacy and with his presidency because they know that most Ohio Republicans look favorably on Donald Trump. So I was kind of confused of who to vote for, and I was, you know, I wasn't happy with Jane anymore. I wasn't, I was working with Josh. Josh was, Josh and Matt were up there, and it was just, it was actually Trump's endorsement. <laughs> and any remarks to kick things off, by the way? Um, well, first of all, thanks to y'all for coming. Morgan Harper uh, is a very attractive candidate in many ways. I mean, she has skills, uh, natural skills, that are hard to come by. She has a compelling backstory. Uh, she is smart as a whip. Um, but uh, her politics are so far left that she's probably best described as Bernie Sanders in a pantsuit. Tim Ryan, a big CTU welcome and make sure that Tim Ryan talks, he, he speaks the same language as Sherrod Brown. He talks about the dignity of work. He talks about how working families need help. Um, uh, that's the kind of thing that if we can win some of those uh, blue collar voters back that we need desperately in a place like Ohio, if anyone and if any pitch can do it, it's going to be that kind of pitch. All right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. How y'all doing? So Mike DeWine is the heavy favorite to win both the Republican primary and the general election. Bernice has a track record of being in Congress and has done some conservative things. He's been a business owner. He's not made an effective case for replacing Mike DeWine. I always used to say that you know, Mike DeWine's held virtually every office. He's been a prosecutor, he's been a congressman, he's been an attorney general, he's been a senator, he's uh, now governor. Uh, Mike DeWine was born with a filing fee in his hand. The Democratic candidate, whoever emerges from this primary as the nominee, is, gonna, is uh, not well known around the state. But if I had to predict today, I would predict Cranley narrowly. Nan Whaley is perceived as being, and maybe is, a little more progressive. 